In this video, you will learn how to use drop downs in Google Sheets. Let's get started. Drop downs are used to restrict the values a user can pick, which is especially useful if these values need to be used in formulas in your sheet. I've got a to do list here, and I'm going to use checkboxes to indicate the priority and the status of items on my list. To insert a drop down for our priority items, I'm going to right click on the cell that I want it in. This will bring up the context menu and I'm going to choose data validation. This will bring up the data validation menu. You can see the cell that we chose is in our cell range here. And for the drop down, we're going to choose list of items and we'll manually put in the list of items we have here. So it's going to be low, medium, and high for our priority. Show drop down list in cell is currently checked. And if you uncheck this, this will turn off the triangle, which indicates that there is a drop down there. On invalid data, we'll leave it at show warning. And this actually allows them to put in invalid data if they want. And show validation help text, we'll turn that on. And the default is click and enter a value from the list items. So we'll show where that shows up. Go ahead and click save at this point. You can see in our box, we now have a triangle on the right side indicating that it is a drop down. And I want to use this drop down for the rest of my items. So I'm going to click the bottom right. Drag this guy down, and now it's going to fill in the rest as drop downs. If I arrow up to the first priority and I press enter, you'll see the item show up, and I'll go ahead and choose high because the dog wants to be walked. And then so I can go to each one and choose a priority at this point. For our status drop down, we are going to use a list of statuses that I have in another sheet. So I'm going to click on this data sheet that I have here. And here are the statuses we are going to use. So if I go back to the to do list here and I click on status here this time so we don't have to copy next time, I'm going to drag and choose this whole range this time. Again, we'll right click and choose data validation. Here we have the cell range for the range we chose. For this one, we'll choose list from a range, which is the default. To choose that range, I'm going to click on the select data range icon. So to select the data range, I'm going to go back to the data tab we have here, and I'm going to choose the range from not started to complete. You'll see it filled in the data range here. Click OK. On this time, we're going to do the reject input. So the user definitely has to choose one of the items here. And I'll go ahead and click Save. And I'll switch back to the To Do List sheet. And now you can see we have drop downs for status on each of our items. So I click on Status. Now I can choose In Process. And if I click on here and start typing, and I hit enter, you're going to say there was a problem because you need to pick one of the values. If you have any questions on drop downs, please leave a note in the comments. If you learn a lot, go ahead and click the like button. And for future Google Sheets videos, click on subscribe.